Madame Allen has confirmed the surprise appearance of her husband during the intermission of her show. And as expected, she... Uh, Monsieur Hastings, there is something troubling you? If I may speak freely. You do not have to ask my permission. This is all very overwhelming. We seem to be taking one step forward and two steps back. I can understand your confusion, but you cannot allow it to consume you and your emotions to take charge. Easier said than done. I just... Oui, monsieur? Must you be so hard on her? Bruh. I presume you refer to Mademoiselle Farquhar. He does have a little crush on her. You talk about emotions not taking charge. She is a suspect in a murder investigation, not a guest at afternoon tea. If Mademoiselle Farquhar is more important than discovering the truth and finding justice, I would have thought you would know better of me by now. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with how you spoke to her. Aww. When it is your investigation, you will have the authority to conduct your questioning how you see fit. Until then, I will continue in a manner that has and continues to bring criminals to justice. Poor I don't play. And I'll just keep my opinions to myself. Let us focus on the case. What do we know about Mademoiselle Warbeck's relationship with the deceased? Mr. Christensen suggested she had romantic feelings towards Irene, but she was just another of her pawns. She cleaned the master key to hide Mademoiselle Gottsmythe's actions, but perhaps she then became worried about her own involvement. You think she could have killed her to stop the truth coming out to the trustees? Which would in turn ruin her career. It is certainly a possibility. Everything's unraveling, and the priest is here. Can we talk to him? I would assume we talk to him since he's literally just sitting right there. Actually, what do we got? Our brain. Who murdered Irene? Ah. Okay, so we got Evelyn's motive. We don't really know much about Mortimer. Mortimer could be behind all of it. In order to just keep money. Because, you know, politics. Your Grace. Detective Poirot. Good morning. Can I assume there is still a murderer loose on the streets? It could London be you. is a very large city. I would fathom a guess that there is more than one, as I have not had the chance to arrest them yet. Your confidence astounds me. Look, you had better make it quick. I'm meeting the young Russian girl here. She had some questions about the museum building at the gala. Questions I'm sure only I can answer. That's a bit weird. Tell me about your relationship with Mademoiselle Warbeck. God teaches us to forgive and love thy neighbor. Sometimes that can be more challenging than expected. Has she offended you personally? Using the museum for her sordid meetings with those uncouth men? I'd say so. What? She doesn't strike me as someone that would be caught up in that sort of thing. And what sort of thing am I referring to? Well, I... Exactly. If you don't know, it would be wise to remain quiet until you're spoken to. Uh, the meetings you spoke I of... I walked in on them in the restoration room a couple of weeks ago. I had come straight from my regular Sunday service, as I had some business to tend to. I opened the door and saw them all sitting there scheming and planning you are not aware of what they are meeting about do you need to wash your ears out i just told you what they were up to and i could see she had the financial books out why would she need them hmm? i'm not even privy to those and she's when she saw me they stopped talking immediately Surely that is a sign of their guilt? Okay, we can't deny that. Merci, Your Grace. Uh, oh. What first appeared to be black market dealings by Mademoiselle Quartzmythe alone now appears to be far more lucrative and expanded operation. The priority is speaking with Mademoiselle Warbeck. <gasps> Finally, a new little puzzle. We haven't had one in many chapters. Mademoiselle Warbeck's actions have been noticeably suspicious as of late. Monsieur Hastings and I should determine the reasons behind such behavior. Do we have any? No, we don't. Okay. So we got Irene Forge Magdalene. Evelyn is withholding financial information. 
Uh, Evelyn met with strange uncouth men, cash book, copying work, and walked in on secret meeting. Okay, we cannot enter her place because I guess we're done with with the story of Christiansen. It just seems like we're kind of like unraveling everyone else's personal secrets just to find the killer. Like, I bet this chapter's just gonna be all about Warbeck. No change whatsoever. And then something's gonna come up at the end. Then we're gonna go investigate someone else who's quiet. And then in the end, it's probably gonna be either... For me, my guess is the Russian girl. Unless they're just purposely making her suspicious. Or... Mr. Green. I keep forgetting his name. Ooh, it actually looks nice in here. Um... Oh, hey, look at that. You already found her. Hey, Evelyn. Mademoiselle Warbeck, if you have a moment. I'm actually rather busy. Is there any chance you could come back later? No. I would have thought recovering your painting and identifying a murderer would be at the top of your priority list. I'm sorry. It's just been so hectic here. I can spare five minutes. You're gonna spare 15. Would you allow me to see the museum's financial books? Is it necessary? Yes. You do not wish to impede my investigation? No, but I don't really understand what they have to do with the case. It is important that... Oh, oh, uh, that is I thought quite he was right, to finish. I wasn't reading. It was not my intention to make you feel uncomfortable. What is your relationship with the Honorable Bishop Mountjoy? Honorable? That's a good one. I get the sense you two spend your time butting faces. Uh, butting heads. Uh, we oui, butting heads. It would be easier to say what we do agree on. I don't know what he has against me. I didn't like one of his suggestions for an exhibition, and since then he's made it pretty clear he wants me gone. Uh, what is to become of Mademoiselle Quartzmite's work? Usually after an exhibition, the artist's work would be returned to them. But on this occasion, that is not an option. I still have every intention of going ahead with the exhibit that includes her work, even if the trustees are against it. I wonder why. I'm still the curator of this museum. I'm hanging her work now, and that's that. I recall Mademoiselle Cotsmythe referred to the exhibit as hers. A level of arrogance and hypocrisy is now even more evident. <laughs> you have been most helpful. Has she? Uh, where can- we can't go there. Oh, we can go back to the restoration room. Okay. Maybe we're gonna go find the financial books? I have no idea where we're going over here. Oh, I'm so yawny. Jeez. Alright, what are we looking for? This- is it this book? I don't see anything else we can look at. Uh -huh. Oh, we are. Uh, this book? Uh -huh. Manozo Warbeck's date planner. Let's see. Saturday, 2 p.m. Closed meeting. That's it. Oh. The minutes confirm that both Bishop Mountjoy and Mademoiselle Warbeck were present at the meeting. Hmm. Uh -huh. A book of oil paint pigments and how they were made. Oh, here we go. Saturday, 2 p.m. Closed meeting. Sunday, nothing. Monday, nothing. Whatever. Wednesday, 1 p.m. Interview. Thomas Keith, heritage manager. Thursday, delivery of William Marshall armor. Friday, Saturday, gala event. Sunday, trustee meeting. Time to be confirmed, and then Monday, Irene Quartz my details of show. So she, why would she kill someone that she had plans with? Attendees, trustees, right honorable Bishop Mountjoy, Baron, oh so Bishop Mountjoy is, okay, uh, Roberts, K, yada yada, Kev, uh, she's, hmm. Daniela Freeman, observing Major Butler of the Ninth Queen's Royal Lancers, Price of exhibition increase, ancient Rome exhibition, extension of appropriate behavior of staff on site, restriction of school children per exhibit. Oh, we got something. Oh, we do have something. Okay, so one of these two. Trusty meeting minutes. Meeting with Irene. What did these two connect? I should consider. He's a trustee though. Or are the uncouth men trustees? This will not get me in. No. Meeting with Irene. Oh, time blocked out in date planner. Two hours were blocked out for something a week ago. One week ago, but there's no indication what the time was for. Oh, okay. 
Oh! My... Mm. A secret meeting was held, but for what reason? Right. He walked in on whatever that was. Right. Okay, so I can't go anywhere in there. Can't mess around with anything else here. Composition of paints and pigments. I can look up the composition of any paint color in here. Okay, looks like we might need that for what? Who knows? Those? Those are supposed to be two exact ones. Um, oh, we can enter here now. Ooh, what have we got? Storage area. Ah. Safe combination. A note reads, safe combination. However, there are no numbers anywhere to be seen. But there is paint. Homemade oil paint labeled Prush, Prussian? Prussian? Prussian blue. And then homemade oil paint labeled Naples yellow. Alright, Naples yellow, Prussian blue. Let's go see the Cody codes. Alright, uh, Naples yellow. Page 9. Naples yellow created by heating lead and okay we don't need that and then 358 for Prussian blue so 3589 ooh cyanide cyanide huh isn't that what Quartzmite got poisoned with cyanide what if she accidentally poisoned herself and she just had paint on her hands uh, uh. 3589 Did I, f did I forget the code? Or is it nine three five? No, it's. Oh. <gasps> there we go. Okay, it's a good thing I went. Aha! If I lay the contents on the table, I should be able to inspect them more closely. Okay, let's wander off to the table. Yeah, because if. I mean, there's blue paint everywhere, so like, what if she just accidentally cyanided herself? I can look up the composition of any paint. I don't need to. You said lay it out on the table. What table? Are you talking about the table with the paint on it? Oh, it's already laid out. I'm an idiot. Okay, what information we got here? Ooh. What's this? An interesting style of art, one I'm not familiar with. Okie dokie. What's this? A letter from Mademoiselle Quartzmite to Warbeck, in which she warmly thanks her for taking an interest in her art. Mademoiselle Warbeck has taken uh, care to keep it safe. Stupid fly. Um, the museum's accounts book. There are two payments of £250 noted here, but without any indication of who the money went to. Hmm. Okay. And that's all we got from that. And we have no links. Okay. It says we have to talk to Horace again. And I'm assuming that's all we have to do in here. Maybe I could talk to Hastings about what I found so far? Perhaps we should take a minute to consider our unsolved mysteries. Why did Mademoiselle Warbeck hold a secret meeting? She held a secret meeting because... Payments unnamed and I oh it's one choice because uh, meeting with Irene withholding financial information why am I so dumb Irene forced Magdalene Irene's copying Percy work work by N Edward okay trusty meeting Irene's cash book copying did I already I don't have the information. Okay, at least I don't feel that dumb. I don't have the information. I do! <gasps> I do. Okay. Payments to unnamed recipients, 250 each. Irene's cash book? No. Oh! I would say a moment of genius. Edward Lindley and Thomas Keith are the artists responsible for the work found in Mademoiselle Warbeck's safe. Okay, artists Lindley and Keith. Their art is responsible for the work. Okay. Are they the... The pieces ah. of the puzzle are finally coming together. Mademoiselle Warbeck is only doing what she can to introduce a new audience to the museum and bring it to the 20th century. 
Evelyn is trying to modernize the museum, and I bet that's what Horace doesn't like. Okay, so what's the goal right now? I have to talk to Evelyn, talk to Horace again? So is it just like a rinse and repeat system? Okay. Go right ahead. You have been- Alright. Uh, can I talk to Horace? No, because he's right in front of her. Okay. Let- or Hastings. Let's go talk to Horace then and see if he has anything for us. And if he doesn't, I will be back in the painting room. Go on then. Ah, here we go. Does your conflict with Mademoiselle Warbeck not affect the museum? You make it sound as though it is I that has a problem with her. You have a problem with everyone. Forgive me, have I misinterpreted her? If you cannot even understand what I have to say, how will you ever understand what Jesus and his Father in Heaven require of you? Wow. That is perhaps a matter best discussed at a later time. What I wish to know now is about you and Mademoiselle Warbeck. There is no need to lose one's temper, detective. The Lord tells us- Your Grace, please. Uh, a lesson for another time. Let's just say that I certainly wouldn't have given that common thief an exhibition. Especially now. Okay. Merci. So, he's suggesting that... Yeah, nothing here. She's suggesting, or he's suggesting that Quartzmythe was a common thief. Uh -huh -huh. Now, will Warbeck have anything to say to that? I wonder. Time to keep going back and forth for no reason. Hastings, what do you got for me? Perhaps, okay, yeah. Uh, it's because... She wants to modernize the museum. Bishop Mountjoy was quite adamant Mademoiselle Warbeck's meeting was something untoward. Although I believe anything she does, he will likely look upon negatively. I believe that too. <laughs> to have a young woman undermine him in front of the other trustees would have been the ultimate insult. Oh no, ego. He allows his personal feelings to accentuate his cynical side instead of allowing facts and evidence to show the truth as one should. Mademoiselle Warbeck was doing nothing detrimental to the museum. In fact, quite the opposite with her attempt to modernize it. Likely against the old-fashioned trustees' opinions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wasn't really doing anything wrong. Although Bishop Mountjoy was quite adamant that Mademoiselle Warbeck was up to something underhanded, it is clear she is not and far from being involved in the black market. So the uncouth men... Yeah, they were the, they were the artists and they were the trustees, right? New conversation unlocked. So is this now where I talk to Warback and be like, hey, you're actually, you know, really cool. I don't understand modern art, to be honest. Especially this day where it's like just like a paint splatter and it'll sell for so much. I don't get it. I think I like hyperrealism. I think those are cool. Go right ahead, detective. The meetings you arrange without the trustee's knowledge. I wonder who you've been talking to. What did he tell you? That I've been up to no good? Not in so many worlds. I was meeting with artists for a new exhibition. He has no idea what he is talking about when it comes to art. Or really anything for that fact. He can't see the future. The new way that will change the art world forever. As well as the uncouth gentleman you met, he also mentioned the financial books. Uncouth? Anyone not wearing full priest robes is uncouth to him. I wouldn't show Horace the finances because it has nothing to do with him. And he's simply looking for any excuse to have me fired. Nothing more. That is true. Tell me about Bishop Mountjoy's relationship with Mademoiselle Quartzmythe. Well, considering he didn't want her work anywhere near the museum, I wouldn't have said they had one at all. Then the next thing I heard was that he had commissioned her to do some pieces for his church. I didn't know anything about it until Irene told me. That's weird. Do you know what he had commissioned her to paint? Probably a forgery of something in this museum. No idea, I'm afraid. She was sworn to secrecy. Oh, it was definitely a forgery then. You have been most help. Okay. Uh, looks like we're going to... Oh, gosh, Hastings. We're going to horse then. How will he feel about knowing that we know the forgeries? Dude, my voice is so raspy right now. 
<clears throat> oh, Horus. Oh, look, the people aren't here anymore. The people that were just all in black gathering over something that was dead, maybe? Hor Hastings, why do you never wait up for me? So rude. Go on, then. I understand you have paintings commission. Uh, you'll have to be more specific than that, detective. You're avoiding. The paintings produced by Mademoiselle Cotsmith's brush. Oh, yes. Well, I thought it was necessary if she was to feature in the museum. You couldn't just use her other pieces as reference? I, I suppose I could have. But I don't actually see why it is any concern of yours. So that means that you could have been the one in the apart, uh, leaving the apartment with a painting. It is not as though I kept it anyway. I wasn't happy with it clogging up my bin, let alone my museum. Merci, Your Grace. What first appeared to be a black market dealings by Mademoiselle Quartzmite alone now it appears to be far more lucrative and expanded operation. Yeah, he was definitely in on it. That's that's no doubt now. Bishop Mountjoy's vocal distrust of Mademoiselle Warbeck may have been nothing more than a distraction from his own immoral activities. Perhaps we should focus on our attention on him. Exactly. Okay, Horace may be involved in black market dealings. He was. He's always been. I, he he threw something at a cat. But what are we doing now? We're going to the church. Bye, Horace. We're just gonna go say some hail marys. Ooh, it's oh, that's creepy. Why are we in the middle of it? Uh, the Bible. Anything? There better not be hmm. curious sketches on the back pages. Uh, of the bishop's own Bible. What was it? It was like the spout hmm. is kind of pouring on the left side, and then the vase is just completely on the left. Okay, is there any? Can I scroll in here? Can I? Oh, I can look at- Is the cat here? Is the cat better? Ah. The cat's no longer here. Huh. Uh, my opinion has not changed. It looks like the most uncomfortable seat. And... What else are we looking at? Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Uh -huh. A hole in the panel where Bartholomew hid previously. With some effort, I could reach in. What's this? A hexagonal metal tube? I shall hold on to this until I can make sense of this purpose. What? Eighth station of the cross. Any day now. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. The savior of mankind being treated every which way except for how he should. And hmm. They all came to see the last stages of Jesus' mortal life. Huh. They all came to... Okay. Sorry. Uh... <gasps> Oh, uh -huh. the geometric decoration on this clay pot has an indentation in it. Can I rotate? Can I use... The two fits in the indentation. It appears that I can use this tool to rotate part of the painting. I won't tamper with it until I have an idea of what I plan to achieve. I already have the idea. That doesn't look like it has a pot on it. Those don't look like they have pots on it. Do I have to look at every one of these? Okay, is the pot over here? I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, dang, I might have to just like look at all of them. Didn't really want to do that because it just takes so much time. Uh, oh, I get to look at this. Seventh Station of the Cross? Oh. Seventh Station of the Cross painting was most definitely here earlier. Where could it have gone? Oh, he was painting something here earlier, no? Oh, that's missing too. Okay, I guess I have to look. No, I want to look at this one. Oh, the pot's here! Oh. Uh, what is this? Do I have to look at all of them? Uh. His final stumble before reaching Calvary. <sighs> okay, um, uh. the cross. And mm -hmm. the geometric decoration on this clay pot has an indentation in it. And can I use it? I can. I think I can at least. The two fits in the indentation. It appears I can use this tool to rotate part of the painting. I won't tamper with it. I already know what to do. Do I have to go and look back at the Bible? Curious sketches in the back of the bishop's own Bible. Yeah, I want to rotate now. 
I'm ready. Can I like double use it or are you gonna still tell me no? Two fits in. What do you mean you won't tamper with it? Do I have to look through everything? wiping Jesus' face. Got an achievement, too. Who is that guy? Uh, huh. The headdress is such a vibrant color of yellow. Uh -huh. Signed, Percy Blackford. Wasn't she copying Percy's work? If this were an original painting from the era of Percy Blackford, the bright yellow of the headdress would have dulled considerably. I suspect this painting has been a forgery of the original. <gasps> took me all the other paintings um forgery and irene copying percy blackford's work One step closer to at bishop mountjoy's request she made copies of the stations of the cross paintings irene forged station of the cross painting irene forged she's just forging right Older and no <laughs> here that i go still. messing up again Horus may be involved in black market dealings. The evidence suggests no. something else. Um, Horus commissioned a painting by Irene. Man. There we go. Why would he request copies of paintings his church already has hanging on its walls? Uh, Horus commissioned forgery stations on the cross. He mentioned seeing stolen painting? Not get me no. He's involved in the black market! What a revelation. Bishop Mountjoy is replacing original artworks up from the church with Mademoiselle Quartzmite's forgery and then selling the original. Horace. It appears that the good bishop has been replacing the church's original artworks with fakes painted by Mademoiselle Quartzmite. He commissioned her to make these forgeries so that no one would notice when the originals disappeared. Disappearing where, though? Don't think he's selling them, do you? Why else? Mademoiselle Babania appears to have been right about the bishop's connection to the black market. Now, Hastings, we must ask ourselves. Where might Bishop Mountjoy be hiding the original paintings from the church before he sells them on? I know, I know, I know. Where was that? Where, where was that? We must gain access to the space behind the confessional. Oh, and then you use the paintings. Okay. All right, now can I? I'm gonna double check to see the things. Okay, so it's pouring towards the left, and that one is just fallen on the left. Holes, holes facing the left. Okay, use, use the metal tube. Two fits in and the indentation. Uh, let's take a closer look. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't like that. Definitely like this. Nothing happened. Not done yet. You impatient. Stop pausing. I'm trying to hit use, but apparently if I like not click it at the right point, it'll just pause. Two bits. Take a closer look. Uh, 76. I... Oh, never mind. Why don't you have a look first? I'll be happy to. Do not tell me you are afraid of the dark. Not the dark, just... Pitch black, eerie passages in old churches. Wouldn't they just like lead to like catacombs, if anything? Poro, where are we? Whoa. If I am not mistaken, this is part of the secret tunnels that were built hundreds of years ago to sneak those that did not agree with the powers of the country out. And why exactly are we in here? The why must never be obvious. That is the whole point. Right. Man, you know, Jesus would be really disappointed in you. Is there another penitent Magdalene? Why am I? Hmm. It's torn. It's, it has the red hair too. So I, it's definitely not the same, right? Oh. 
Someone has quite ruthlessly taken the in an instrument across the painting. The back of the canvas is visible here. It looks like it was previously used to paint something that looks suspiciously like the Monet. And then, what do we determine that it's a fraud? Huh. In every way, this looks like it could be the original. Oh. We have our third. No, it's the third forgery. There is evidence of a much more modern painting on the back of the canvas. Thank goodness. Don't know how I would explain finding the original in such a state. Bishop Mountjoy must have discovered the painting that he received from Mademoiselle Cartsmythe was one of her forgeries. And lashed out. Now it makes sense. He's been using this room to store his own private art collection. I can picture him sitting here smug as anything, surrounded by stolen paintings. Oh, so he won the original. What I find most unfortunate is that not only does he deprive the world of beauty and joy from seeing these works, but he also keeps them in such dark and dank conditions, the old fool. Dank conditions. He's even having to light his candle clock to keep from drifting off down here. Such a waste. What do you think, Poirot? Ah, one's opinions are now worth listening to. <laughs> I was only voicing my thoughts. You have thoughts beside those of Mademoiselle Farquhar? Oh! Really, Poirot? You still think so little of me. When one exclaims such regard for a suspect in a murder investigation, it is hard not to think any other way and comment so. You may not be so accustomed to the idea of showing, or at least having, some form of empathy for our fellow man. There is a difference There's... between empathy and lust. There is no need to fight right now. There is a difference between commenting and being rude and obnoxious. I was not expecting Monsieur Hastings to be so sensitive on the matter. Perhaps this conversation is best safe for when we are not trapped together. Yeah, I agree. What was that? Oh, just the bishop's candle clock. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of this place. Let's get out of here. What are you doing, Poirot? S'il vous plaît, un moment. What? The bishop's candle clock has forced me to question everything of the murder scene that I previously thought I knew. We must return to Mademoiselle Gortsmythe's apartment. Is it because it's a puncture? Perhaps that is a job best left for you, by yourself. Hastings! Hastings, no! He's leaving us? The bishop's candle and nail alarm clock has me reconsidering the evidence at the fireplace. I must re-examine it. Aw, is Hastings not here? This sucks. I don't want you two arguing. I mean, I found him as a nuisance in the beginning, but I, I don't know. Oh, she's not here anymore. Okay, that's good. Huh. The fireplace. This thing. Uh -huh. Necklace with a pin through it. I'll take it, press it, and conduct a little experiment and recreate what really happened. Okay, uh, the necklace with the pin through it. Uh. Something about the candles melting now feels odd to me. Wasn't the candles not melted before? Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Mm. The sibling of the missing candle, I believed it had to serve- it had- I believed it to have survived due to its distance from the scorch marks, but now I'm not so sure. With Bishop Mountjoy's candle alarm clock in mind, I must conduct a small experiment. Where? I'm so nervous. Okay, so we can't mess with anything else here. So are we leaving? Are we going back to the church? Oh, the console table. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Oh! <laughs> oh, Hercule! Hercule, I don't think you're supposed to be there! Oh. Only half the crate remains. Irene must be a great fan. Yeah, she was! Mm. Uh, survivors of the fire, some brand new candle remains intact. I'll take one. The bottle is empty but smells strongly of turpentine. Only half the crate remains. Irene must be a great fan. Okay. What's going on? I'm so... Necklace with a pin found through it. And then a candle and we got matches. Are we doing the experiment in here? I doubt. Right? We... 
use candle. There would have been a candle here before the heat. Uh, can I look at it, please? Okay, candle in the saucer, then the necklace? Just like the nail in the bishop's candle alarm clock, this pin could have been pushed onto the candle like so. The necklace could have been wrapped around the candle, something like this. As the wax melted, the pin fell and the necklace could have poured over the- the necklace could have poured over the side, the weight eventually toppling the candle. Time to put this theory to the test. Hercule, I don't know what you're on about! No, not, no. Oh. <laughs> to break your face. I believe myself to be the greatest detective in the most prestigious police force in the world. But I have been duped and swindled, falling directly into the trap laid by the killer. So it was not an intentional fire? And now I stand here alone. Contemplating what is to come next. Monsieur Hastings was quick to make his excuses to retire to his abode and not return to the scene of the crime by my side. I hope there is not something further that troubles him. One does not need added strains at a time when steps must be retraced and a new timeline considered. Oh man. Sacré. I have spent my time staring into the sun when deceit and deception has taken place in the shadows. A murderer remains free, but the truth of the fire eludes Detective Hercule Poirot no more, and soon neither will their identity. So what, did someone light the can? I don't know, chapter 8, I don't know what's happening, is Hastings in on it? I don't know! Why are we here? Where's Hastings? I miss him! But I'm gonna leave it here, I'm actually just gonna... Oh, I thought that was a fire. I'm actually just gonna jump into the making the next video because I want to get this done. I'm finishing this game today. What's today's date? It's the 31st. So I am finishing this game today and I'm going to upload it and then we can finally be done. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.